Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be talking about some of my must-have affordable makeup. I've got five products here to show you today and all of them are $10 and under, which is such a bargain. I have used and abused these products so I know that they perform, so if you're excited to hear what they are, give this video a thumbs up while you're watching and let's get into it. First up I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Chemo Concealer and this is in the shade Light Ivory. This one only retails for $10, you can pick it up from the e.l.f. Australia website or at Kmart. It comes in a nice big bottle and it has a large doe foot applicator, which I absolutely love for applying concealer these days. If I go ahead and use a concealer that has a small small doe foot, I'm like, what is this? Like, what, uh, what do I do? Now, the reason I love this concealer so much is because not only does it give me that full coverage that I'm after, it is also hydrating. So this has a satin finish. So if you're someone who suffers from dry under eyes, you will love this concealer. If you've been around my channel, you would know I absolutely love the L'Oreal Infallible, but this does have more of a matte finish. And a lot of people have said they do find it to be quite drying. So if you're after something that still has that full coverage, but isn't as drying under the eyes, this is the concealer for you. e.l.f. does also make a matte version, which is very good, but there's something about this hydrating concealer. I just love the way that it sits under the eyes. It doesn't settle heavily into my fine lines, and I only need to go in with one layer, and the coverage is just spot on. Now, as I said, I have the shade Light Ivory, and this is what it looks like. What I like about this shade is that it isn't extremely brightening. I've really gone off the really light under eye concealers because quite frankly, I don't think I need that brightening effect. And I find the lighter concealers, I don't get as much coverage either. So this shade here I find blends in really well with my skin tone and just gives me the coverage I'm after. Next, I have the BYS Brow Liner Pencil and this one retails for just under $5. I am all about a micro tip brow pencil. This one is nice and tiny and precise. I love it. And then the other end comes with a spoolie. I'll insert some footage now of me doing my brows. Yeah, so about that footage, I deleted all the overlays, not realizing that I hadn't used them yet, but I do have a tutorial on this look, so I'll link it down below if you want to see any of these products in action. And as you can see, I like to draw underneath first, and this liner is perfect for that because I can be very precise where I'm placing that color, and then I go in with the spoolie to blend it out. Now, this formula is quite... It's creamy, so it glides onto the skin really easily and blends out with the spoolie really well too. So even if you do think you've made a little mistake, just go in with that spoolie and blend it out and it's fixed. Now I'm not sure what shade I have because it doesn't actually say on the packaging, but I'm gonna say it's like a blonde or a taupe because they're usually the shades that I go for. I just don't think there's any need to be buying hella expensive micro tip brow pencils when you can get something like this that's creamy, it's easy to use, it's long lasting and just so affordable. Another brow product I cannot get enough of is the Essence Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen. And this is in the shade Dark Brown. Now the reason I love this is because the tip is so precise. This is what it looks like here. It's actually a felt tip as opposed to a brush tip. All the other kind of pen brow products I've tried in the past have been brush tips, but this felt tip just applies so thinly. Like you are getting the most tiniest little strokes in the brows. They look like real hairs and it's only five freaking dollars. Now the shade range, there are three available, but here in Australia, we only get two. So that's why I have dark brown because we don't actually get blonde here, but I still use it and it looks fine. I just make sure I go in with a light hand because I can go overboard because it's a dark, like the shade is too dark for me. But going in with a light hand, like I've used it today, it just adds that extra texture to the brow and it is just an absolute killer product for $5. Another one by Essence, which I will admit I haven't used and abused as much as the rest of them. This is the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. Now this one retails for $10. Unfortunately, the shade range we have here in Australia is pretty beige. I have the lighter shade we can get, 050 Neutral Champagne. I'm wearing it today, but I have mixed in some lightning drops. If you want to watch my first impressions of this, I will link it down below. But this foundation has impressed me so much. Hold, oh my god, like... Oh. 
The coverage is beautiful. So it has a medium to full coverage and it just leaves the skin looking natural. So I can still see some of my blemishes underneath, but not any redness. It's the perfect amount of coverage for every day and it has a satin finish. So you're getting a little bit of a glow to the skin still, which is just so beautiful. Now I am still testing the longevity of this foundation. As I've mentioned in every other video that I've talked about this, we are wearing masks here in Queensland still, well in Brisbane. So I do wear a mask all day at work, so I find it a bit hard to actually test out foundations. But I did wear this when I went out the other night and I actually had a mask on for hours. And when I took the mask off, it had only rubbed off on my nose and my chin where the mask was touching. Like, come on, that's pretty damn good. This foundation just sits so beautifully on the skin. It doesn't cling to any blemishes or dry patches. It doesn't look patchy anywhere. It is just so beautiful. Like I am so impressed that this is only $10 from Essence. Like what the hell? Let me just quickly swatch this shade on its own so you can see. That's it there. See that finish that it gives, how it's got that glow to it? Oh my God, so beautiful. And then lastly, I have the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. Now this one retails for $9.99 and you can pick it up at Chemist Warehouse. Okay, I have always been such a hater of affordable highlighters because they were always dry and chalky, but this, oh my God. So first of all, you get three shades. So we've got our gold, pink, and champagne. The champagne shade is the one that I use. I don't actually reach for the other two, but if you like to experiment, play with different colors, this is a really good option. Even for $10, I would just buy it anyway for the champagne shade. Like it is stunning. They have a very metallic finish. I am wearing it today. And as you can see, like, look at that pop. Come on. These are not chalky at all. They are very smooth and they blend so beautifully on the face. They don't accentuate any texture either, which I love. It lasts really well on the skin. It doesn't fade away during the day at all. And I love that if you go in with a light hand, you can get a beautiful subtle glow. And if you go in with more of a dense brush and a heavy hand, you're going to get that like bam metallic highlighter look without it looking heavy or chalky. All right, well, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up as it really supports my channel and I would love it if you're new here if you would take a look around and consider subscribing I do a ton of content about affordable Australian drugstore makeup and if you have fair skin or red hair then even better because we're the same if you want to see a part two to this video leave me a comment down below letting me know and I can definitely get one going because I have so many amazing affordable products that I could just rave about all day. If you're interested in this makeup look, I actually filmed a get ready with me because it was requested in another video. You like the look. So I'll link that down below if you want to know what products I used. Otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. Come and follow me over on TikTok and Instagram if you aren't already. I'll have them linked in the description box below. And that's that. That's the that on that. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.